Hey folks, Matt from Art of the Image. Flickr has been up to more trouble lately. Uh, we've heard in the past, for those of you that follow things on Flickr, uh, Thomas Hawk is really good at bringing this to everybody's attention. He follows Flickr and has there's been a lot of problems with Flickr in the last couple of years, specifically with deleting people's accounts, either mistakenly or for reasons that are not valid according to even Flickr's own guidelines. They seem to be very heavy-handed, it would appear, and um, not uh, no fair recourse if there is a problem why it was deleted or whatnot. Um, so this has become a big one, this one that's just happened now. Mirko Wilhelm's account was deleted. He had been uh, had an account on Flickr for the last five years, and approximately 4,000 photos there with comments and tags and everything else like you can do in Flickr, uh, part of different groups and you know, as you as you participate in Flickr. Um, and it was just boom, pop, uh, deleted on him. He'd actually, um, he uh, had a post, uh, blog post titled, You Have to Be Effing Kidding, uh, Yahoo, um, all about what happened to him with his Flickr account. And, um, he claims that Flickr accidentally deleted it. Uh, he says, today I was a bit surprised when I tried to log into my Flickr account. It didn't remember I was logged in, asked me for my password, knowing who I am. Then I was asked to create an account. Strange, I already had an account. It came to me. Uh, then he says, then it came to me. I um, had reported a user account that had added me as a contact on Sunday only, containing obviously stolen material and complaints about having an older deleted account with similar, similar content. Um, so he'd reported uh, a problem. And by accident, the Flickr staff deleted his account. So uh, here he is reporting a problem, trying to be a good Flickr citizen, and uh, gets his own account uh, deleted. He's initially told, this is his reply from a Flickr staff member, Unfortunately, I have mixed up the accounts and accidentally deleted yours. I am terribly sorry for this grave error and hope that this mistake can be reconciled. Here's what I can do from here. I can restore your account, although we will not be able to retrieve your photos. So photos are gone, as well as all the comments, commentary, views, history, and all that type of thing, which is very important. I know that there's a lot of history on your account. Again, please accept my apology for my negligence. Once I restore your account, I will add four years of free pro to make up for my error. So they give them four years of pro um, fees waived in order to uh, and to restore his account but they can't restore the whole thing or at least that's what they say so they can't put his account back to where it was he loses all his history all his comments all his commentary this would be like on Facebook for those of you not familiar with Flickr to have lost your entire account they delete it and then they say oh we're sorry and they, they bring it back for you but gone is all your friends and your comments and your commentary and your life that you've been living on Facebook. So um, not really acceptable on Flickr's part. Um, some updates to this are um, it got pretty big. Flickr probably felt some heat. The uh, New York Observer picked up the story. And um, actually, I could show you that right here um, on the iPad. And uh, then TechCrunch did. There's TechCrunch picking up the story there. The uh, New York Observer had picked up the story. And um, that is right here. They ran it as a, uh, a main story. So lots of publicity happening here uh, to Flickr on this one, which is probably why the response got changed somewhat. Um, the, uh, it was uh, Dig had picked it up. Um, a Flickr staffer had responded and said uh, further to this that a new feature was coming that uh, Flickr would be able to restore deleted accounts, um, which is about time. This should have been in place years ago, uh, especially when you're charging for the service. All the pro accounts charge for the service. I pay, I think it's 25 or 30 bucks a year. Um, and uh, then Flickr uh, responded with similar statements to this to the LA Times and the New York Observer. So um, obviously they're feeling the heat from the press and maybe that's why they started to improve their response to Mirko. Uh, TechCrunch picked up the story. Petapixel picked up the story. And then um, there's a report. Thomas Hawk's blog says that there's an anon anonymous commenter claiming to work for Yahoo left the following comment in the comment section of this post. I am a Yahoo employee, and right now we have a backup of the data that we are restoring the photos from. The user should have all the photos back in the next day or two. 
Thomas goes on to say that the IP address they commented from reconciles as coming from headquarters at Yahoo Inc. So, not only did Flickr make this grievous error, Flickr um, was not upfront or truthful in telling people, especially Mirko, um, when they delete their accounts, that they can't restore them. Probably it was too much work for them to do so. They didn't want the hassle or whatever. But obviously they do have the backups and they can restore the accounts, which is what they should have done. You're, these people are paying for a service and it should be done restored properly when they make a mistake. So hopefully Flickr's learn from this and all the negative media attention. Hopefully they are able to fix these type of mistakes in the future. Um, a further update is Flickr has... Uh, restored the photos. I don't know if that includes all of the commentary and, and the whole account features, which should be restored as well. But they've also his, extended his pro account into 2036. So basically, it looks like they're giving him about 25 years of free pro account. So that's much better compensation for their error. Um, but hopefully, they've restored his entire account for, for Mirko. And uh, that... Uh, Let's hope uh, this this has uh, eased off some of these problems. There's been been quite a few problems lately with Flickr and these type of things. Made me given given me concern to look elsewhere for a Flickr type of service because I do use Flickr and I like it. But if this is the type of way Flickr is going to deal with things, it's not good. Hopefully, their final response here to Mirko in restoring his account and hopefully his whole account, not just his photos, but his comments and his his. Uh, all his history and whatnot, as well as the 25 years of pro service is now going to be exemplary of what Flickr will do if they make a mistake like this. So anyways, that's what's going on. Check it out on the various blogs. Go over to Thomas Hawk's Digital Connection blog and see what he has to say about this. And um, stay tuned, folks. Thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon with some new video posts, some new articles, and we'll keep you up to date with what's going on in the world of photography. Thanks.